Okay, it's just a little quick intro to this one to kind of explain what's um, happening. I'm sure you can all relate to how much this issue sucks and how we all go through it at a point in time in life. Basically, all my fish arrived. Don't worry, they're all fine. That's not where the story is going. All my fish arrived for my 150 gallon tank. And I have never ordered fish via the mail before. I've never had fish shipped to me. I've always gone to a store that I've already had the fish shipped to them and just buy them from a local store and bring them to my house. This was a little bit of a different situation because Exotic Reef Imports shipped them to me. I was excited to vlog the whole experience and I did. I woke up at 10 a.m. when the fish arrived and I immediately pulled out my camera and vlogged the entire experience which took from 10 a.m. to about 10 to 11 p.m. Of course, I did have to run some errands in between to get a few extra things that I didn't have on hand, but I vlogged it all. So it wasn't like I was just sitting there for 10 hours doing the same thing. I had a lot of different things happening to get that tank ready that day. Long story short, I lost all the footage. I thought I had imported the footage onto my computer, so I deleted them off my memory card and I hadn't imported them to my computer and they were deleted from my memory card. So I deleted all of the footage from that day and an exception of the last few clips. So I'm gonna include the last few clips in here, but other than that, now that was my very first time getting fish shipped to me, like I said. It was my very first time stocking my 150 gallon tank. I never had any fish in there before. This was a lot of firsts. So I still want that experience to be vlogged. I still want it here for you guys to see. So how do I do that without uh, actually having the footage? I, uh, I, um, I recreate it. Okay, good morning guys. It is one, I mean, wait, that's not when I got my fish. 10 o'clock AM, as you can tell. I just got a FedEx notification or UPS or whatever it was that my fish are on the front porch. So let's go check them out. Oh, they're right here. Let's bring just one box. I don't need the other box of fish. I'm so excited to open this. Look, live tropical fish. My name is on it. As you can see, they were wrapped in a black bag so they don't get stressed. The darkness helps them stay calm during traveling. And um, that one looks dead. That's just one, you know? I ordered seven, so. Okay, I swear, I don't know why they all are just gravitating towards their back. This one too, okay. Just needs a good shake, maybe. There we go. Now he's up, what a good fish. Okay, so as you can clearly see, we have all seven fish that I ordered here. Basically, now we're gonna acclimate the fish. I always recommend doing this for saltwater fish, especially if you're getting them from a place that, that doesn't keep their water parameters the same as you do. Then you wanna slowly acclimate them. You don't wanna just throw them in the tank and put them into shock because things like the salinity and the pH specifically can really put them into shock if it's different from the bag that they're in right now. So you want to slowly do this. And this is really important for the more sensitive species. When it comes to clownfish and things like that, you can float them in the tank until the temperature levels out and then add a little bit of your water to the bag and then release them after about 10 minutes. That's good enough for the less sensitive species, but when you're doing fish like tangs and wrasses and angelfish, boxfish, etc., you're gonna wanna do the drip acclimation system. So let me show you how to do that for all of these good fish. So basically what you're gonna do first is take your fish and put it in a bucket. Now the important thing to do is when you're going to release the fish into the bucket, you want to put the water slowly in to the point where when the fish goes in, it has enough water to be fully submerged. So if a bucket this deep is going to be too deep to fully submerge your fish, get a smaller bucket. Don't make them flop around in the bottom of the water, okay? One, hopefully your fish bag won't be tied with a hair tie. And two, hopefully your fish, your saltwater fish won't be from Petco. But uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Pet smell. Well, I'm just gonna rip a hole in the side and then we're gonna slowly release the water. until it's deep enough for your fish to go in peacefully. Slowly add the water from your tank to this. Now the way we do this is called a drip acclimation system. First thing you're gonna need is an air pump. It does not have to be a nice one. It could be any kind of air pump. About five feet of airline tubing. This is like 10 feet, but five feet of airline tubing should do you plenty. Now you're gonna cut up the airline tubing where you have five feet for the drip system and then a little bit left for the air pump. Now first thing, 
I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some oxygen to this water because as we start drip acclimating the fish, the fish may get stressed and we wanna make sure they have plenty of oxygen during this time. Next, we're gonna start drip acclimate. I'm gonna put this frag rack in my tank and this is just gonna be something that's gonna hold on to my airline tubing. You don't have to use a frag rack. You can do plant weights, anything just to make sure that the airline tubing stays in your tank. So what we're gonna do next is get the airline tubing. You could tell that's it even though it's out of focus. And you're gonna put one side in the tank, make sure it stays. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start the siphoning effect. You're probably gonna have to put your mouth on this and I'm trying to make this sound as normal as possible. Put your mouth on this like a straw and it'll start the siphoning effect, okay? Now once you start it, you're gonna see the water's gonna come out really fast. This is not dripping. This is too fast. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie a knot in your airline tubing. Now it's dripping. Now if the drips are still too fast, you can do another knot. And now you're literally gonna leave it in there dripping until the water at least doubles. And then check it, see if the salinity matches your tank, and then you can uh, not, you won't pick your fish up like this, but you know, pick your fish up and uh, put them in there. He's dead. Okay, so in here we have a bristle tooth cold tang. These are one of the hardier tangs. They don't tend to get ick as much. Oh my god, I'm just now noticing that this really big fish bag is not only blacked out, but it is wrapped in duct tape. Like, what do they think that fish is gonna do? I'm feeling pretty confident in putting the cold tang in there already, so I think we're gonna do that. There we go! Are you okay? That freaked her out, or him out. I don't know why I automatically assumed it was a girl. She did not like being mooped.
So it is now day three and my tang is coming out a little more. My Christmas Islands um, white tail, yellow eye, cool tang. Long name. It's right over there, right behind the angelfish. He's coming out a little more now, grazing. So that was my really weird footage for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my fish for, you know, finally. And if you don't know yet, there is Nala merchandise. I'm trying to individually thank every single person that tells me that they buy my merch, but I mean, it's hard, so I'm sorry if I missed you. I'm sorry if I didn't tell you thank you, but thank you. I had a video that came out a few days ago about it, me wearing my little Nala pocket tee in it. And then, of course, the phone case. Can you see it? It says you can do it. You can do it. Thank you to everyone who's checked out the merch, who's gotten merch. It's still available for about 10 more days, so please check it out if you haven't yet. If you want to get some Nala merch, it is out there, like I said, for about 10 more days. So I'll put the link in the description, and please check it out, and just thank you. If you want to watch a video in the meantime with me in it, you can check out... I can't talk talk ever I need to go to like speech therapy I swear I can't talk and that is not an insult to people who need speech therapy I'm saying I really need it if you want to check out a video in the meantime with me in it you could check out my friend Paige's video me and my friend Paige make the Walmart version of the unicorn frappuccino from Starbucks so it was a really fun video I had so much fun with her it's in the description and I'm gonna put it the link at the end of this too so yeah that's something for you guys to watch if you'd like and thank you guys so much for watching and you'll see See me next time. I've been doing YouTube now for like seven months and I still don't know how to end my videos. Go buy my merch.